Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Center News. I'm Joe Borg. This is going to be a quick video on our Phillies getting one of the better lefty relief pitchers during the course of his career on the market. Brad Hand to a one-year deal. After also Dave Dombrowski hinting at this big time in the reports were in yesterday that was going to happen, got finalized today. Odubel Herrera to platoon with Matt Veerling, it seems, is going to be as the favorite right now for the platoon since Veerling matches lefties. Um, throughout his career this far, including the minors, more so than righties, and obviously Oduble is the opposite. Um, my mom is someone that's very religious, and she kind of made me thinking towards Oduble, where everybody deserves a second chance. He got a second chance, performed solid last year, did fall off, but overall had decent numbers. If he can platoon and do well, okay, because I really it is true. I've always been somebody that tries to give people second chances and then didn't do it with him. Um, so she's right um, as somebody. Um, that that should be doing that as a person that tries to give people second chances. He got one. He performed okay last year. I think the Phillies, from looking at his social media, him doing that whole marketing thing in the offseason, realized he's matured. And Dave Dombrowski, I kind of trust him thinking Oduble's mature. But if Glenn Tech did this, I would actually have a different opinion because he's not a Hall of Fame executive. But anyway, back to Brad Hand because he's the more important matter at hand. Um. Brad Hand is one of the best lefties in the business. Last year, went back down to in the two ZRA. He was in a three something with Washington, but still was one of the more exclusively used lefties. But when he was with the Mets last year, he had a two something ERA. I should say to clarify, with Washington, he had a three something, but but came on strong with the New York Mets and was still good with Washington in forty one games as well. He can close for you. He can pitch. Um, in pretty much any role, just as a guy that's just going to hone in on lefties and demolish them. He's also great against righties. And in 2021, he really uses slider and four-seam fastball really well while also missing in a sinker. His slider is one of those ones that sometimes can play a little bit like a slur of curve since it's only at 80, 78 to 80. His four-seamer can get 93 to 95, and the same goes with the sinker that can help him when he mixes it in to get some ground balls on top of that slider. Uh, I think Brad Hand is a very smart pickup. The The Phillies, of course, picked up Yuri's Familia post-lockout after already picking up before the lockout Corey Knebel as two good righties that have closing experience. Now they pick up Brad Hand as a very good lefty, a guy that's been a very consistent lefty in his entire career. They pick up Brad Hand. He also has closing experience. So I'm really liking how this bullpen is starting to come together. He's a guy that I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he does really well in spring just because he has more closing experience than the others. Might get the nod, but we'll have to see uh, what he's able to do and who's able to perform as a guy that Joe Girardi wants to then put as the closer level in spring training between Knebel, Familia, and Hand, I would think, would be the three guys that are kind of going for that. Or maybe the Phillies still see some money on the trade market or somebody that they can get their hands on that they believe is going to be more so of a closer. Because I think Dominguez in the future, for people that are wondering why they mention him, is going to be the closer of this team as long as he can get healthy, come back, and everything goes in the right direction forward. It's just it would be naive to think that this year, and that's why it's smart that the Phillies brought in Knabel Hand, and they also brought in Yuri's Familia. However, I've always been somebody that likes that more of a standard guy that I just know is my closer. But these are all good options. So this has been the latest edition of our Philadelphia Phillies offseason podcast as spring training is right on our heels. Hope everyone, some people are going to get to go down and enjoy it. I'll be covering some of the stuff during spring training to see who's doing well and see who should make the team or seems like they're on the track to make the team. And then we'll see what happens when the team obviously announces their final roster. This has been a video on Brad Hand and Odubel Herrera coming back to the Phillies for Herrera and Hand coming to the Phillies as we actually technically took two pitchers from the Mets, as Brad Hamm was on the Mets last year, and so was Yuri's Familia. So that seat makes it even better. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and please do subscribe down below. Up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel growing to 215 by the end of March.